Okay, Louis, big game coming up uh, on Friday against Finland. Plans are, are coming together nicely, though. Yeah, we've uh, been together now since uh, since Monday, and you know, working hard on the training pitch. We're only a couple of days in. Everyone's feeling good. We've you know had the the team meeting to assess what we want to you know do for the game and how what you know how we want to approach it during the week. So so far, it's going good. Of course, going back to the first game of the campaign and losing to Finland, but beat them in the Cyprus Cup. So confidence high that Ireland can get a, a good result, a result that we need on Friday night. Yeah, absolutely. And there was real disappointment after that game um, at home in Tala. And then the you know the confidence again that it came, like the, what we should have done in that game in Tala, we did we did it in Cyprus and you know beat them two 0 Maybe again could have beat them by more, but we were you know really buzzing around the pitch and just moving nicely and that's kind of you know how we want to play but we want to step that up up another level now when we're when we're in a Euro championship. Of course it's something that like your like everyone in the panel you, you want to make your way to a major championship just like the men team and go to the Euro twenty seventeen next year. Yeah, yeah, words actually really can't describe it. It's, it is exactly what all, what we all want to happen, what we want to happen, you know, individually for ourselves, for our for ourselves, our families, our our clubs together as this team we've been together for you know for a long time now and a lot of us have played together for years so you know we want to we want to succeed together and to get to a tournament like that would be absolutely massive and a real dream come true definitely of course Finland in the way the weather here is fantastic you've had the, the shortest hop of all coming across from Sweden and your and your club what's it been like is it, is it like that over there like what it's like here at the moment yeah at the moment yeah, yeah it'd be similar similar weather yeah it's nice and hot and same thing really uh bright nights you know you're not actually sure what time it is in the day it's a it's a bit it's a bit mad but yeah you, you get used to it that's a, yeah it's pretty much what it's like over there in sweden at the moment sue so decided with the rest of the management team to maybe take two more days here to get used to this is a, is a good decision really and already we're a couple of days away from the game yeah it's been one of those where you know i suppose yeah the hot weather has been a little bit unexpected so it's good that we're able to get the you know to acclimatize to us and uh, you know, playing on a turf pitch as well. We just got to just get the get the touch of the ball, and so that's been it's been perfect. Now it's we're in the you know the second day training, and we're already used to it. So it's you know it's it's good for us. Just in the game itself, Emma Byrne and yourself, you know, big game experience is going it's going to come in very handy in, in such a, an important match. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we're going to use that experience, and you know, there's there's plenty of other girls like Anya, Fiona, like the th the people that we have in this squad. We are we're we're so experienced now, and we're all. You know, a lot of us over, you know, on the 50 cap level are over, and you know, that's that's a lot of experience on on one team. So, yeah, we'll definitely be taking that in and using it, and you know, just helping each other out. It's about yeah, getting our making sure our communication is right and making sure we're just working together as a team on the pitch.